What's going on everybody, Like Butter here, and welcome to episode 7 of Gears of War Commentary with Like Butter. Uh, we're on Fuel Depot in this episode, but before I get into the gameplay, uh, I just want to give out a few shoutouts. Uh, I want to say thank you to the leader of Gearsopedia, um, Anthony. He posted me a sub video on Gearsopedia, and uh, I received about... 600 subscribers over the last two days so I'm very thankful for that and I just want to say if you came over from Gearsopedia I want to welcome you to my channel and I'm going to do my best to put out the best Gears of War uh, 1, 2, and 3 content that I can. Um, I don't know if most of you saw some of the Gears of War 3 new videos that came out. There is a lot more information about the beta and also about just the game in general. It showed some gameplay. Uh, I, I got a sneak peek of what the sniper looked like in one of the videos, and the scope for the sniper looks a little, uh, I don't know, it looks a little weird. It kind of looks like, um, like a Call of Duty scope, like a scope you would use on the Black Ops sniper, and then in the middle it kind of has the Gears, Gears of War sort of little circle thing to it, so I'm really going to be surprised to see how that looks. But from what I've seen so far, I think this game's going to be a huge success. Uh, the movement looks a lot better. The registry looks a lot better. I can only imagine how good this game is going to honestly be with dedicated servers. Um, they announced that the beta is going to come out in mid-April. So that's only about a month and a half away, or actually a little over a month. So you guys should hang in there and get ready for that. Um, I haven't bought... I haven't uh, gotten Bullet Storm. Um, I don't really know why. I mean, I just don't want to spend sixty dollars on a game and then find out that you could have accessed the beta anyways. Because I saw one video where Cliffy, uh, Cliff Bazinski said that you could access the beta through other ways too. So I'm just kind of, I don't know, holding off on buying Bullet Storm because I'm pretty sure with the Epic Edition you only get a few add-on things like. Maybe like Cole's helmet and like a flaming lance or something. I don't really care about that stuff. So if worse comes to worse and they give more information about it and they absolutely say that you have to have Bullet Storm, then um, I'm gonna wait like about a month. Cause I, there's no rush in getting it if it's that if it's like that and hopefully maybe it'll drop a little bit. But um, from what I heard, Bullet Storm's a great game. It's just too short. It doesn't have a multiplayer, like a player-on-player -player multiplayer. Um, it has kind of a horde mode, or like kind of like a zombie mode if you play Black Ops. But uh, I mean, I haven't gotten too many details on it. But there's no co-op campaign, and I've received plenty of messages saying that's really good, but it's just too short. So I was gonna hold off on that. Um. Let's see what else should we talk about. Um, I just want to start off by saying this game was pretty good. Um, I've been playing on my Defy account as you can see in this video. Uh, the reason for that is because me and Iceman are... We have to upload um, content to the Defiance channel which is my team or my clan if you guys haven't known. And um, Basically, what's going to happen is about every two weeks, me and Iceman are going to release a dual Taj. And I've already seen some of his clips, and some of my clips are pretty good. So it's going to be a really, really good dual Taj every two weeks. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the Defiance page, please do. Um, and I got a really sick triple coming up. Got the double, and uh, I soon get the uh, no scope on the third guy. But, um,. Like I said, I'm going to post a video when our dual Taj comes out to let you guys know. Because we get paid per thousand views. Um, so it'll help us out. It'll give us a little bit of extra money if you guys can go view it. And it's going to be good every two weeks, I promise. Um, that's kind of the standards that our team has. is You record for two weeks, and then you send in your footage in one, one of the five. I think we have five editors edit it and then put it out. Um, but I think we're going to have Iceman edit the first Dual Taj and see what the editors have to say about it because they've been editing Call of Duty pretty much their entire you know career since using editing softwares. Although they are pretty sick if you go watch some of the Call of Duty montages, the 3D like you know cinematics that they use and stuff are just unreal. 
Like they're really good editors, but I don't think they really have the feel for that Gears of War editing. So Iceman's gonna edit the first one, and we're gonna see how it goes from there. Um, so I've just been pretty excited about Gears 3. I've posted a video. It was actually a two-part video a couple days ago, or maybe it was yesterday. Um, it's it was a Gears 2 gameplay. It was my first gameplay, like in probably four four weeks on Gears 2 um, that I actually tried. And you guys, like a lot of people said, oh, I want to see Gears 2, but then when I posted Gears 2, you guys are like, no, Gears 1. So like, I don't know, I, I might just post a little bit of both, but mostly Gears of War 1, because like I said, I feel like it's the, it's the better game. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm just excited for the Gears of War 3 game. Like, I can see that they're trying to make a lot of changes. Um, I've also been told that um, recently by some, by a pretty reliable source that um, the reason that the movement was so slow in Gears 2 was that they were trying to make the campaign so realistic that they made two different game speeds. One for when you were outside, like, you know, in good conditions and the other one when you were inside in a gloomy area or like <clears throat> you know an area where you just wouldn't be able to move around fast and I guess what they did is one this is said by one of the main game coders um, that they accidentally set the whole multiplayer speed to the slower speed so that was kinda unfortunate but it looks like they fixed that a lot and I just got raped I was chasing somebody. Like I said in the last commentary, never chase your opponent, especially in this game because the guns really don't have too much too much range. Uh, but I was thinking about posting maybe a, a commentary with a few friends talking about the Gears of War 3 game and what they've seen and what they think about it. Um, uh, Gearsopedia just posted a video like of the interview if you guys haven't seen it. Um, trying to think what else I should say. Uh, also, the leader of Gearsopedia mentioned me and Alec doing dual commentary for the next top five. Uh, we're going to see how that go goes. I haven't heard any more information about it. But other than that, um, I just want to say thank you so much for the new subscribers who came to my channel. Uh, I think I'm almost at 4,200 subs now, and I was only at 3,600 two days ago. So I'm really thankful for that. But this commentary is coming to an end. Uh, episode 8 will be out in a couple days, I'm sure. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. What map?